Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own it already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 261 and today is our lesson number 174. Please turn to page 261. Problem number 12. Problem number 12 is a pretty straightforward simple problem. We are given a circle with a radius of 4 and we are given an arc here ABC and we are told that it is 40 degrees or 40 degrees and the circle has a radius of 4 the very first thing they ask for is the circumference the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r, very straightforward, very simple. 2 times pi times r, which we know is 4. 2 times pi times r, which we know is 4, so it's just 8 pi. The second part they ask for the length of the arc ABC. Length of the arc ABC. And typically, when it's arc, we put it at a curved line as opposed to a straight line. When it's AB, it's a straight line. If you're trying to say that, it, had it been, this is how the symbols are used. You can write AC as a, which means a straight line AC. But if you put AC and then you put an arc around it, that, that means it's an arc like that. Arc ABC, the length of the arc ABC. Now there are a couple of ways. There are a couple of ways we can solve this problem. One way is to figure out. This arc represents what's proportion of the circle and just find that proportion or second or other ways to set it up as a ratio problem. We'll do it both if you like. So the arc AC if over the circle, if you take their ratio, we know arc is made up of 40 degrees and we know circle is made up of 360 degrees. That's the ratio. And the length of the arc is what we want to find. Let's call it X. And the circle we know is 8 pi. We just found it. We just solve for x. That ratio, very simple, very straightforward. So you cross multiply and you end up with 360 times x equals 40 times 8 pi. Divide both sides by 360 and you end up with x equals 40 times 8 pi over 360. 40 times 8 pi over 360. Over 360. Divide the top and bottom. Divide the top and bottom by 10 and you will get, get rid of 0. Divide the top and bottom by 4. 36 says 9, 4, so you end up with 8 pi over 9 or 8 over 9 pi. One. That's it. So that was one way of doing it. Another way of tackling the same problem, the length of arc ABC, would have been this. This is not different. What we are about to do is the exact same thing as what we did here, but done in a little bit different way, which is to first figure out this 40 degree represents what proportion of the whole circle? Well, 40 degree, 40 degree is what proportion of the circle? Again, zeros will cancel out, 4 divided by top and bottom, you, so we find out that, that 40 degree is one ninth of the circle. We know that the whole circle, whole circle is, we know that the whole circle is 2 pi r, which we know is 4. And we want a ninth of it, so divide both sides by 9. That's what it is. And we find the same thing as before. We, ex we find the exact same thing as before, which is 2 times pi times 4. <coughs> 2 times pi times 4, which is 8 pi. 8 pi over 9, which I wrote here as 8 over 9 pi. Exact same thing, no difference. The fi final thing, the last portion that they're asking us is the area of the slice. So we already know that this, 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 this slice actually, this slice represents ninth of a circle. 
slice we just found equals a ninth of the circle. So area of the whole circle, this was part C. Area of the slice equals one ninth of the circle, which is one over nine. Off means times, and the area of the circle is simply pi r squared. R squared in our case would be four squared because the radius is four. So one ninth times pi times four squared. 4 squared is 16, so you get 16 over 9. 16 over 9 times pi. Voila. 16 9 pi. That's all. That's all there was. It's a very straightforward, simple problem. I will see you tomorrow. We'll, we'll do the very last problem at the bottom of the page there, number 13. Alright? Bye now.